Okay, so we're here with Sarah Marie Belcastro, author of Discreet Math with Ducks, second edition. And we're going to have Marie ask, answer a few questions about the book. First question is, why did you write the book? Well, I wrote the book because I had to write the book. It's not that I had some great plan for writing a book. It's that I was asked to teach a discrete math class, and there were no textbooks that had the right curriculum. And so I wrote my own curriculum, and then a friend of mine took me aside and said, you have to write a book. And I said, I don't have to write a book. Come on. He was like, no one else is writing the book. You already have the curriculum. You have to write the book. So I was like, OK, I have to write the book. And then I sat down and wrote the book. <laughs> Best of all reasons, a teaching need. Yeah, absolutely, 100%. And so what's up with the ducks? OK, so Daniel Pinkwater, one of my very favorite authors, wrote a book called Ducks! Exclamation point. And um, the basic plot line is that a young person goes to the store to buy candy and sees a duck and buys the duck for a few cents and takes it home and the duck starts talking to him. He reports some of these conversations to his parents who say, don't ducks usually lie? And later the duck says, parents often lie. So I think of this as like a, a classic liar and truth teller puzzle. Who is telling the truth here? So I made up some truth teller puzzle involving a lying duck. And my students liked it, and they kept asking about ducks in other parts of the class. And then it just turned into the whole thing. Very nice. And tell us about the new edition. What's new in the new edition? Color. Look, look, teal, 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 teal. Teal on the inside. You probably can't see teal. But yes, we have a color in there. So, so first of all, the color makes it look like a real textbook instead of something I made up. And um, there are a couple new chapters. There's one on number theory that apparently lots of people wanted. And it turns out one of my friends desperately wanted and used and loved it. Um, and then I wrote one on computational complexity because people seem to want that too. And so they get my treatment of computational complexity, whether they like it or not. Very good. Very good. All right. Well, thank you, Sarah Marie. I appreciate it very much. <laughs> We're looking forward to the new edition. And there you have it.